Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to our roller prompt for the 19th of August 2021. We're creeping ever nearer the 1st of September when our September daily starts. Although at the moment I feel like I'm doing a daily anyway. I might have a break actually just before we start Mr Green. Just um, see if I can get my wits around me again. That'd be good. Uh, so the prompts for today are a tummy tuck for those new to our channel. We choose to call belly bands tummy tucks. We think it's a bit more sophisticated. Uh, must be green, cardstock, die cut, buttons and industrial. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought as well when I rolled them. I thought, oh yeah, great. But I am doing that little industrial notebook thing, so it's not all bad. Um, I showed you this yesterday, I haven't done any more to it. Uh, that's the cover that we made on a live. Um, this still needs decorating further. It's a altered playing card. Um, this is from the Die Cuts with a View heirloom um, pack, stack, should I say, that we all went mad for last year. And I still had the bulk of mine, so this is great, it's using it up. And this, I showed you how to do, it's tea bag paper, which is a revolution, guys, tea bag paper. Um, and then a, this is a little tag that this is paper. This was plain watercolour paper. And I, I put this pattern on it by, I've shown you loads of times, just smushing your ink pads onto a surface, adding a little bit of water. And then you just keep dipping your paper in. And you can see I used a yellow, which I think was fossilised amber. Uh, that was peacock feathers and then quite a bit of walnut stain. A little bit of vintage photograph, I think, as well. Then uh, a little stamp that I stamped out and then this beautiful um, embossed butterfly, which I really quite like because it looks like it doesn't belong there and I like that. And then at the end I'd put some frou-frou in, which really doesn't go with it and also I like. Um, that's the back of that, which is a stamp I've got. Then I put a little tummy tuck in here. So I want to add another tummy tuck. Now, obviously, don't want to add one to the back of that page that's already got one on. This is a centre spread, and they're not very tall, those pages. This is a pocket. I've folded that over to make a side pocket. So the only place it can go, really, because we've already decorated the uh, inside back, is here. And I'm quite happy for that. That's fine. So I have looked out, oh, here comes Mr. F with some gin and orange. Mmm, <laughs> that should keep me going. <laughs> I just really want to reiterate again that there is no gin in my gin and orange. It is simply orange. Right, so, um, yes, my tummy tuck is going to go on this page. But I'd like to put the backing down first before I put the tummy tuck in. So I've pulled out this um, paper pad that I showed you last year when I bought it. It's really grungy, industrial looking stuff. And it's perfect. I'd, honestly, I'd forgotten I had it. Isn't that typical? We forget we have gorgeous things. And we could use them, but uh, we forget we've got them. So that probably, would that cover my page? Yeah, it would. It's quite nice. It's in keeping. I like that. Even got an additional piece of craft card there, which I will need later for the die cuts. That's very, very, very industrial. I love that. A sort of checker plate sort of thing. Would that go nicely there? Would it play nicely? Yeah, I think it would actually. Um, let's just carry on looking through this paper pad, shall we? So I've got this one, blimey, that is grungy. Um, obviously you get three sheets of everything. Um, no. They can all be used in this though, definitely. That's got quite a bit of green in it. Wow, look at that one. Look at that one. That's green. Nobody can argue with that. That's coming out. Is there any more that's any greener than that? There can't possibly be. 
a lot of quite black and white ones that I like. Yeah, no, that's the same as the one we've... Yeah, this one. So let's pull this one out then, shall we? Seeing as we're going for green. Let's see if I can find somewhere. This, in case you really want to buy this, it's called The Essential uh, Craft Papers by Craft Consortium. 12 by 12 Premium Gummed Paper Pack. It's 180 GSM. There's 30 double-sided sheets. And it's called Metal Textures. Just what you need for industrial. I mean, bang on, it's perfect. Right, so let's see what this measures and cut out a piece that's going to fit in on my page. And I am going to cut it out. I'm not going to tear it, I'm going to cut it out. And I want it to be just like, if I'm going to write this on, because you know I'll forget. Five and a half. Um... I'm going to put a minus, just less than, and that needs to be about seven inches by seven. Okay, so let's cut a bit out of here that is the appropriate size. Um, I might use this side rather than that because that is very green. <laughs> very, very green. So I need to get my board out. I still haven't tidied up from yesterday. Still, how do you do on my desk, to be honest with you? It is a right, how do you do? So just less than five and a half. That's sticking into me, that corner. Um, where is five and a half there? So in between five and three eighths and five and a half. That's where I'm going. Is that square? Uh, in between five and one, two, three, eight. One, two, three, eight. So how come you want square? I don't know. Let's go with that anyway. And that's a lovely remnant to hang on to. That's going nowhere. And I want it seven inches long. Now then, do I want this? Or this. Mm. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I love this. But I do like this as well. I might go from the bottom. Go from the bottom and it wants to be seven inches. Oh, little one's walking up. I can hear him. We let him out of his playpen last night. Um, we have let him out before, but previously he's just run for cover, gone under bookcases or anything that he could find. Um, but last night when we let him out, he was absolutely up for it. He was just playing around, messing around, trying to catch the dog's tail. Bobby wasn't most impressed, I can tell you that, but um, he'll get over it. He didn't snack at him or anything. So that's going to go there. Right, so I'm going to ink around this to grunge it up further and I want my walnut stain, my black suit, um, a brush, yeah there's a brush and I want my little finger knobby thing if anybody knows where that is. Could be blooming anywhere, like anywhere. Oh come on. Aha, uh -huh, I have it. Right, so let's uh, get a inking board. Go around this with the, uh, the walnut stain first. I don't know why I keep wanting to call walnut stain distressing. It's obviously distressing. You don't have to be tidy about this at all. Just want to darken that edge in comparison to the centre, that's all. I don't want to do too much here because I really love that tealy colour. I don't want to fade it all away. I 
there we are and that will be fine for that and I'm just going to get my black soot oxide out now because it's an oxide it's really opaque so you really can see where you've been with it which is good because generally if you want black it's because you want black not a wishy-washy kind of colour so I, I particularly chose the oxide This is preparation for the tummy tuck that is the prompt. Well, I haven't even got onto the prompt yet. But we will soon. Lovely. Right, that will do. Now then, put that mucky board away. Bring this over. And I kind of want that that way. I want that down at the bottom there. So I'm going to just stick that on. I think that looks lovely. I really do. It's so in keeping with with everything. It's like like it was made for industrial. Mm, hang about. I think it was. You could do loads of these papers, really. Could, definitely you could stamp on them which you might have to have a go at at some stage some nice black stamps with stays on mm. right let's get this stuck on here then just a small margin all the way around Maybe a little bit further up. That's fine. There we go. So give that a good stick down. Look at my hands. Honestly, they're so filthy. Right, so I've gone ahead. I've sort of jumped ahead a little bit before we started. Uh, just to save me pausing it for once. But I can see I'm going to have to close it again. Oh, that's Mr. F doing the dishes. Um, so I've, I've torn out a piece from the, the book that I've just shown you that I think is, is suitable. And I've embossed it. Can you see that? It's a real grunge embossing plate that I've got. And those of you that are eagle-eyed will may possibly remember that I used this, possibly even this paper, um, in Mr. Mr. Green in January. Because it's such a grungy... Uh, uh, embossing pad oh I don't know why I'm doing that that's not what I meant to do so I'm just going to go around the outside with a black and I've torn this out rather than cut it I like I prefer that look for this book and the cardstock would be thick enough and at some stage then if we get an industrial journaling card, I can make one to go in here. I doubt that's going to happen, so I'll just plod on myself trying to fill this up. There we go. Uh, where's the lid? There's the lid. Right, so that's going to get stuck on there. Um, but I was thinking of sort of going over it with a turquoise, which is gr if you ask Mr. Mr. F, he will tell you that turquoise is green. <laughs> he sees it as green. Um, so I'm just going to have a go. I'm going to get uh, maybe my peacock feathers. That's turquoise, isn't it? What's that one? Peacock feathers. That's a little one. That might be better, you know, for this. I'll try it with a big one. See what happens, eh? Do or die. Oh, that's lovely. It's just picking up the top of that embossing. Marvellous. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So it's, it's sort of showing as, as um, teal. But because the paper's so dark, it's not 
in your face but it is nice I like that let's put the peacock feathers away step away from the peacock feathers um, let's just wipe this down this is just a, honestly all my boards everything's just in a right old state so where's my book here's my book so that's going to go on there yeah I like that I do actually so what else have we got to use Tommy took green cardstock die cut and buttons okay <laughs> let's have a look through my die cut pile see if I've got anything that's even remotely sensible I don't think there is actually I think I'm gonna to have to trim uh, die cut some flowers because that's what I want I want something that doesn't that looks a bit like it doesn't belong no I'd, I've got what's in there nothing much there's some flowers but they're kind of not what I want um, labels of course always labels it's like Tracy Fox City around here um, butterflies and birds I don't I don't think I don't think it's a bird sort of thing um, there are butterflies there Okay, I'll think about that. Um, these are all too jolly. <laughs> Just too jolly. I don't actually dislike that. I was kind of preparing myself for disliking it, but... Um, I don't think I do dislike it. I've got some leaves that are in a similar colour. No, don't be silly. Don't be silly. So these are just all butterflies. Yeah, they're not what I want really. Um, these are, no, not what I want either. Massive butterflies, no. Leaves of a different nature. No, I don't think so. No. And flowers and flowers. And then these ones that are hand coloured. I quite like the fact they're hand coloured. That's what's drawing me to them, but I'd like them better probably if they were. Oh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. Because we've got some coral already in our. In this journal. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, I do. I really do, actually. So it was worth, wasn't it? It was worth going through these. What else have I got? Oh, flushed with success now. Uh, there's a red one, but that's a bit too red. That one. No, I like just the, sing the the one that's that one. I must say I do. So let's put everything else away now. Come on, butterfly, you can go away as well. Thank you very much for trying, but not successful on this occasion. <gasps> right, excellent. Uh, so what else? Button. Oh, blimey, button. Yeah, I think I might have to pause here and go and look for a button and see what I've see what I can reach from here. Um, flowers and balls, buttons and brads. Okay, so here's the buttons and brads draw. Um, these little ones, there's a little orange one there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some green ones, no. I know the thing is, a, is about green, but I hear you, but no. Um, no. Oh, they're butterflies, wooden butterflies. Yes. 
one of those will do the job. Hooray! Is this coming together rather better than I thought it would, you know? Um, right, so let's just have a look through these um, buttons, see if there's one that we think will do the job. Got these from my good friend, Mr. Ali. That's quite nice. I could always ink around it, couldn't I? I could always black suit it around. Quite like that. That's, uh, I'm not saying no to that one. It's just, that's, that's very in keeping. Very, very in keeping. Maybe a little bright. I don't know, I mean, can you ink these? Who knows? Does anybody know? Might have to sandpaper it or something, I don't know. Let's give it a try anyway. I don't know if it'll stay on there, you know, because it's, it's not much tooth. Looks pretty nice though when it's inked. I do like that. Yeah, that's, that's just the job. It is just the job. I'm going to stop looking through the rest of these because I'm only going to confuse myself, which is very easy to do. Soon be time to get the little kitty cat out and see what he's up to today. He's doing that stupid, stupid run, you know, where they... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. They sort of run sideways, like half their body is paralysed or something. I mean, it just... He looks so daft when he does it. And the, and the cat, the dog can't work out which direction he's going in. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so we're all right. We've got everything we need. Yeah, I believe we have. So I'm going to stick this down... I'm just going to give it a little bit of a once over with a bit of ink, not much at all. And I have to bring my monkey board back in. Just a little bit. I do want to keep the coral, I don't want to get rid of the coral, but I just want to tone it down just a touch. Oh, can you hear him? He's crying, he wants to get out get out until I'm there because we need two people to kind of guard him at the moment. Right, there we are. That's that. So I'm going to pop that down there. Yes, let's glue that on. There's a lot of my glue coming out in one go. Lovely. I must say, this die, if any die that I've got, this is my real worker die. It has been used in all sorts of situations for all sorts of purposes, and it never seems to let me down. I really, really like it. I noticed Tony, Tony Vince, the other day, she was showing... I think it must have been, yeah, it was a uh, one of these prompts, roller prompts that she'd done. And uh, she, she'd she got this die and was using it. It's a really useful die. Came from Ali, of course. Right, so is that stuck on that ink? No, not really. I'm going to get some sandpaper out. It's not going to get the better of me. Big enough, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to try and get rid of some of that glossy varnish, just so I can get the ink to stick on it. Yeah, that feels better. Maybe a bit more down there. 
the pull is actually coming off it when I'm doing this and that's not too bad a thing really because it was very bright yeah that's better let's try this again I think the result will be better this time be there soon there yeah that that looks to me like it's set down into it much better so that's a good button to have isn't it uh, right I just need to um, put some thread around it and then stick it down and that as they say is that or as we say box your uncle so I'm just using cotton perlade thread um, string sort of stuff stuff people use for crocheting it's very strong um, and it's a good color I don't I didn't buy it I don't think I think Mr. F must have found it somewhere on his travels so I'm just going down from the front, up from the back, down from the front in the other hole, up from the back, and then I'm just going to tie that off. It just looks like it's been sewn on, that's all. Okay, I'm not sure if you've missed something there. For some reason the camera stopped filming, but all I've done is stick this onto here, um, and you saw me thread that up. So I am going to use bookbinders glue to stick that wooden button onto there. Um, it's really good glue and it will do the job if I can get it out of the bottle. Yay, there it comes. Marvellous. Right, so just pop that onto there. Just that top corner. and that will eventually hold. It's not an instant grab thing. Although it's pretty good, but it's not instant, instant. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. That is my tummy tuck du jour. And these were my prompts. Tummy tuck, green, undoubtedly. Cardstock, yes. Die cut, yes. Not the one I was expecting to use, but it looks good, I think. Uh, button, yep, and industrial definitely without a doubt so i hope you enjoyed that it's um i think that, is that three times we've had industrial now that might be the end i'm not sure but let's do the roller prompts for tomorrow where's my big red book here we are with the giraffe in it right so i need to turn my paper over and write Tomorrow's date on it. I've lost my pen. Oh my goodness me. Well, I'll have to do it in pencil. I have no idea where my pen is. It could be... Oh, there it is. There it is. So this is for the 20th. 20th. Yes, that's right. 20th of August, 21. And it's roller prompt. Okay, let's get the die and get going. Uh, we can't have industrial again tomorrow. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't even mark it in for yesterday. But we definitely had it. So let's see what we get today. So what co kind of thing am I going to make? A tag. Excellent. I like making tags and the colour is going to be it can't be green because that's the colour we had today three that's green so I need to roll it again five purple oh that's change purple lovely um did I mark that in did I fly there we go uh, paper. What kind of paper will we be using? Can't be cardstock because we had that today. Two. A digi. Oh, it's been nice to me so far. It's going to hit me with something horrible. I just know it. 
um, focal point five a die cut we had that today so I can't have that again tomorrow oh, four fussy cut okay fussy cut um, and the decoration it can't be buttons because we had those today two buttons oh, come on two no I'm not having two six thank you stamp Ooh, I like stamps what have I done there am I one out all the way along what's going on here why have I got a mark there on fussy cut oh because I've already done that so that was six yes that's right gems got myself in a bit of a muck up there but I'm all right now gems and the style it can't be industrial because we had it today five shabby chic shabby chic okay so let's put the dice away safely lid on the pen put the big red book away and let's have a look what we've got tummy no that's it it's today's tomorrow's is a tag purple digi fussy cut gems and shabby chic hooray at long last seems like forever since we had a really good um good lot of prompts like that but i'm looking forward to that so i'll get stuck into that tomorrow and i'll see you then thanks for joining me Bye.